I'm in the town of Gori, which has been better known in the past as the birthplace of Joseph Stalin. And it's about 80 kilometers, 50 miles to the west of the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. Five years ago, it was one of a number of locations bombed by Russia in the war with Georgia over the disputed territory of South Ossetia. And the border with South Ossetia is just 30 kilometers to the north of where I am here in Gori. Hundreds of people died and thousands more were displaced by that conflict, which was started when Georgia carried out military incursions into South Ossetia to try to reclaim that disputed part of the Caucasus officially back for Georgia. Russia responded, however, with military might, big ground forces assaults and aerial bombardments, and in just five days had completely overcome the Georgian forces and encroached to within 45 kilometers of Tbilisi itself. And now as we move through this period, marking five years since the war, we've seen a heightening of tensions between the two countries. Dmitry Medvedev is the president of Russia at the time, he's now the current prime minister, and he has said, with hindsight, he'd act completely the same way again, carry out the same operation. Mikhail Saakashvili is the outgoing Georgian president, and he's complained of pressure and too much exerting bullying by Russia. So we've had last week the marking of the start of the war, yesterday the marking of five years, uh, since the end of the war and tomorrow's marking the five years uh, since the signing of the peace declaration by the South Ossetian leader and that peace negotiation was brokered at the time by Nicolas Sarkozy, the then president of France. So however, as we've had five years since this hostility, it seems that despite marking that, that period since hostilities ended, it really has been anything but an end to the tension between these two countries and the one disputed area of the South Caucasus.